this program was brought to me a couple months ago. We we wanted to just kind of check it out and test it before we kind of roll it out to the team and offer it to the team. <clears throat> but this program was brought to us a couple months ago, and it's a program that will help us kind of not leave money at the door on the other 40 or 50 contacts we made to get that one sale. Uh, you get a DNQ, you get a renter, you get uh, a you know, you engage someone that lives in a condo and they don't own the rights to the roof. Someone that lives in, we just had DNQs for um, modular homes and mobile homes and things like that. Uh, this program is for those people. You get someone signed up with that, you get reimbursed and all that stuff. And, and Mike's going to you know, talk about it more. But yeah, so with that, like I said, we've been dabbling with a couple months now. We feel this is a good time to kind of roll it out to the team. I'm sure Mike's going to explain kind of where it's available and where it's coming to in the future and how it can benefit us all. So uh, with that, Mike, I'll go ahead and pass it off to you and we can go from there. Thanks, Anthony. Can you hear me? All right, buddy, we're gonna get started here. Let me go ahead and pull up my PowerPoint presentation. Bear with me. Well, first of all, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm calling in from Chicago. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all over the country. Can you see my screen, Anthony? All right. So, guys, uh, first of all, just a little bit about myself. Um, grew up on the southwest side of Chicago. My uh, father was commanding officer of narcotics for the Chicago Police Department. So average was unacceptable in our house ever since I was little. Uh, when it came time for high school, my dad made me go to the best academic high school in Chicago, St. Ignatius. I was a better baseball player than a student there. And because of my baseball ability, I was recruited to go play ball at the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Because if you've ever heard of West Point, I went to Navy. After playing ball there for four years, I was a pilot in the Navy uh, during Desert Storm. Got out of the military after Desert Storm, came back to Chicago and thought I wanted to become an FBI agent. So my father said, well, you're not a lawyer or a CPA, so go become a policeman, get some street experience, and the FBI will take you for sure because you went to the academy. So from 1994 to 1998, I worked in the housing projects of Chicago as a policeman. If you've ever heard of areas like Cabrini Green or Rockwell Gardens or Henry Horner Homes, uh, to say I received street experience was a tremendous understatement. <laughs> I was shot at 11 times in four years, had to fight with people every night. If you know anyone in law enforcement, it's a very negative, thankless profession. But it was a means to an end for me. I was accepted to become an agent, and I was just waiting on a class date sometime in the beginning of 1998 uh, to go to Quantico, Virginia to begin my training to become an FBI agent. But thank God I had worked for six months on a task force uh, with FBI and DEA agents when I was a cop. So I had a chance to see what my life would be like day in and day out as an agent. You know, I envisioned Silence of the Lambs hunting Buffalo Bill, and it wasn't like that. <laughs> so I was looking for something different. I uh, I ran a men's baseball team in the 90, 90s, uh, one of the better teams in the country, amateur. And my catcher called me up in November of 1997. And he said, Mike, I found a company that I think you'd be perfect for. I need you to go out to Rosemont and take a look at it. Now, for a Southside Chicago guy to go to Rosemont on a, on a work night, that's like going to Egypt. There was an hour drive and rush hour traffic. And I was put into a group interview, 40 people in the room, all wearing suits, except for me. And I said to myself, as I, they placed me in the back of the room, Billy's a dead man when I get home. You know, I thought it was an Amway meeting. You know, I was kind of hoping it was Mary Kay. My mom was in Mary Kay in the 80s. Figured maybe I get a free facial out of the deal. But the biggest reason I didn't leave is I understood my financial situation. Guys, I was 29 at the time. I'm 55 today. And at 29 years old, I had probably one of the most impressive resumes you could have. Best college in the country, you know, pilot, you know, St. Ignatius. I had, I had it all, but I was dead broke. I was racing my paycheck to the bank on Friday because I wrote checks on Wednesday that were going to bounce if I didn't get my paycheck in the bank. I had three kids, a wife. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't going too well. So I said, I'm going to stay and listen to this guy. What do I got to lose? Now, the guy running the meeting owned his own Primerica Financial Services franchise. And I was blown away at how little I knew about money. Uh, even though I went to the best schools, they don't teach us about money in schools, right? So, but, you know, he said things in that meeting that really resonated with me. He said things like, we're going to give you a chance to be wealthy here. And then, Anthony, the big thing he said to me is, we're going to give you a chance to be somebody. 
And see, I wanted to be somebody that my kids could be proud of so badly that it bordered on an obsession. So after the meeting, all the suits left and I walked up to this guy. Now, again, policemen, you know, we're very, um, we don't trust too easy, you know, because everyone lies to you, uh, to us at work. No one, it was a miracle in the project that someone told me the truth, you know, when I was working, right? So I went up to this guy and I said, look, brud, uh, I'm pretty sure my wife and I are the poster children for your company. I need you to come over and show me what you can do for us first, because if it works for me, I'll take it to the, everybody and, and they'll listen to me because I have credibility, right? So he came over and the rest was history. I went to work with him part-time. Now, I couldn't quit my police job because, you know, I was paying our mortgage at the time, right? But within 60 days of working with him, I was making more money with him part-time than I was full-time as a Chicago cop, quit the police department, went full-time. A year later, I became a vice president with that company, opened up my first office on the south side of Chicago. During our decade with that company, I call it the practice company. We, we help tens of thousands of families learn how money works. We opened up four offices, had hundreds of people making really good money. And we had a handful making six figures. And, and as a result, my, my, my wife, who's now my ex-wife, but, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we made millions. So I share that with you. That was my, you know, entry into network marketing, into this type of business, right? Now let's fast forward 25 and a half years to last November received a call from a good friend of mine by the name of John Piontek, big John, you know, is, is what he's known by. And he said, Mikey, I've got something I need you to take a look at. Uh, keep an open mind. And, you know, I get calls all the time because, you know, when you have a little bit of success in that industry, you get hounded, right? People always want to get you on their team and I'm never interested guys. I'm always building my own financial firm. I still got a great firm. You know, I don't have time for that stuff. Right. But I look out of respect. You no, know, for John, I looked, and I saw a presentation similar to what I'm going to show with share with you guys today. And I went from in the beginning, kind of thinking of my excuse to tell John, you know, hey, listen, looks great, buddy, but you know, not for me, but I'll keep you in mind. I went from that to saying I'm in. You see, I, I saw the forest through the trees. I saw what what they were about to do here. And, you know, I don't know if we get presented with one or two or maybe three great opportunities in our lifetime. But I knew I was staring at one. So when you when you're faced with that, you don't just think about it. You jump in and do something about it. We went to work during the pre-launch, and you know we have over 700 people on our team right now. We're about maybe 15 percent of the whole company, and we're just getting started. Now, the the biggest thing I will tell you is when you look at this industry, it's going it's extremely volatile right now. I know you guys know know this as well as I do. You know, when there's volatility, there's opportunity and gas and electric prices are going crazy right everywhere. I mean, right now, the economy's terrible. People are, are struggling to put gas in the car to go to jobs they don't even like so that they can feed their children. I mean, it's a mess out there. Right. So somebody had to come to, to the rescue to middle America. And we believe that somebody is us with Think Energy. So Think Energy. Let, let's talk about how we got started. First of all, our founder and CEO is a very impressive uh, gentleman. His name is Michael Falquist. Uh, Michael, you know, as a young 30-something-year-old guy over a decade ago, started a company by the name of Viridian. He got a million dollar in, million dollars in seed money, and he started that company. And he took it to over 1.2 million customers in less than a decade. And he be, uh, became Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year along the way. And he wound up selling his business for over $500 million. So he's no stranger to success. So Michael, um, the, the the one thing that, you know, Michael flew a whole bunch of us out. Well, I should say 30 of us. Uh, you know, it was 30 of us, my business partner, Andy Wallace and I, and 28 other people out to Connecticut in December. And one of the things he said was, he said it was time to get back in the game because the energy market had been flat for a while. And, you know, since this is what he does for a living, he saw that it's going to be extremely volatile for the next five to seven years. There's a lot of factors involved in why it's going to be volatile. But now is the perfect time to be back reengaged in the energy business. So, again, simple question I ask everybody is, who do you know that uses electricity? And it's the, one of the only products out there that's unconsciously purchased and habitually used, right? Everybody uses it. 
So what if there was a way where you could make money every time somebody used electricity simply by helping them make better energy choices? It's all possible because of deregulation. You know, back in the 80s, they broke up telecoms deregulation, Ma Bell's monopoly on, on long distance service. And we saw what happened. Same thing happened in energy a little over a decade ago. And now customers can now choose who supplies them their energy. See, when there's deregulation, it brings competition into the marketplace when, when there wasn't any. So the good news for the customers, nothing changes for them. They still pay the same utility company, the same utility bill. If their power goes out, they need problem, they have problems with their lines going down, they call the utility company, they come out and service it. Same bill, nothing changes, no disruption to their service. The one thing that does change is the amount of money that they pay for their electricity supply. That's, and, and, and that's it. So when you look at Think Energy, we're empowering customers to save. Now, this you know, network marketing as a whole has a lot of turnover. You know, 80%, you know, a lot of companies have 70, 80% of the customers wind up dropping the product. And it's almost like a bucket with holes in it. You know, if you're pouring water into a bucket and then there's holes all over the place, you're never going to fill the bucket. You're going to constantly have to fill it up with new people, new people, new people, right? So Michael addressed that in Connecticut with us back in December. He said, listen, when you guys help us put on a million customers in the next you know, few years, we're going to make sure you get paid on a million customers. I'm promising you this. We're going to be a different company. Our, our customers are never going to leave us. The only reason they're going to leave us is if they die or if they move. And if they move, if they move into another Think Energy territory, they're going to just stay with us. Now, what we are at Think Energy is we're a third-party energy supplier. One of the things that's going to help us build loyalty is we're bringing in three-year fixed rate programs. So we're going to provide stability and price surety in this very volatile market that we're in, okay? So we're going to be able to come in and, and give that customer, our customers, the peace of mind and knowing what they're going to be paying on their electric bill every month, kind of like a 30-year fixed rate mortgage versus a, an adjustable rate mortgage. You know, you look at, uh, you you can look even a, as little as a year ago, there's a whole bunch of people that were happy that they had a fixed rate uh, mortgage and not an adjustable because of what's happened with the rates over the last year, right? Now, we're also going to be the largest, in our opinion, one of the largest uh, community solar providers, which provide our customers with 20 years of guaranteed savings, okay? And then we've got an incredible customer referral program. Now, part of our customer referral program, bear with me, guys, is our free energy club. When someone enrolls as a Think Energy customer, they can opt in and become and get into the free energy club. It's really easy. And then um, just, again, when you look at, let's look at a typical electric bill. Let's say it's $300 a month. $150 of that goes to, su to supply and $150 goes to delivery and service. So we're going to focus on the supply portion, the $150 supply cost of, the, uh, of an electric bill, right? When someone becomes a free, energy, uh, a free energy club member, they can put in a bunch of emails, uh, just names and email addresses and hit submit. And then we take over from there. We're going to send their referrals a really cool email. And if those customers decide that they too want price surety and stability, right, with their bills, with a three-year fixed rate, right, that's very competitive. When three of those people decide that they want to, uh, you know, use Think Energy as their supplier, the, the customer that referred them is going to get 10% off of their bill. So on the $150 supply charge, 10% is $15. That's uh, that's a hundred percent tax free uh, savings, right? It's a rebate. That fifteen dollars they can get on a Visa debit card directly deposited into their checking account, a Starbucks card. It's totally up to them. Now, when they refer seven more for a total of ten customers, they now get forty percent off of their supply costs with us. Now, forty percent of one hundred fifty dollars, well, that's sixty dollars a month. That sixty dollars will be put on their debit card. Then finally. 20 customers, so 10 more customers for a total of 20, they get 100% off their supply or $150 a month in this example. So think about this, guys, in these trying economic times we're living in. 
how many families do you think could use an extra thousand to two thousand dollars put on their kitchen table back tax free every year? Right. This is this program right here will will go viral because it doesn't you you don't need to refer twenty to get any benefit. Just referring three people, a brother, a best friend, a mom and dad, knocks ten percent off of their already low fixed rate uh, three year fixed rate plan with us. Now. When you're looking at the future, we're going into Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, including their electric bills. From what I hear, and that hasn't been officially confirmed, but I heard it's July 1st. So we're going to be there in a few weeks. Um, one of the things that we're excited about Texas is we're going to be able to use our patented proton technology, which are which we are able to use in states that use smart meters. Now, good news for us, most of the states in the United States are smart meter markets, right? So what does this proton technology does do? It, it, it really connects with the customer through their smart meter and it, and it, and it educates them and teaches them and, and gives them advice on how to use their electricity more efficiently and more, and more cost effective, maybe running their dishwasher and off peak hours after 10 PM, as opposed to maybe running in the, at 6 PM during peak hours, right. Or charging their electric vehicle after midnight, after midnight. See by us providing <clears throat> advice and education to our customers through this proton technology, our customers are going to be able to make more energy efficient choices and they're going to realize some significant savings. So in this example, let's say someone changes their dishwashing pattern to after you know after 10 p.m. And let's just say think energy saves a hundred dollars off of their decision to to shift their their usage, their load usage, right? Well, if they save a hundred dollars, think is gonna take half of that or fifty dollars and put it on that Visa debit card. We are gonna be the only energy company in town where in, in the country for that matter, where our customers can almost treat their electric bill like a game and try to figure out ways where they can chip away and 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 get their energy for free, right? And then natural gas and all the deregulated states will be opening up in natural gas um, you know, in 2024. And by the way, one of the things that happened, I, I, I digress. I forgot to tell you something in the beginning. When Michael took his business plan, uh, this was a little over a year ago, he he put together his business plan because again he recognized the volatility volatility in the market, and he went to a company by the name of Oak Tree. Now Oak Tree is a multi million dollar hedge fund, and they're a subsidiary of a company by the name of Brookfield. Brookfield is one of the largest solar farm companies in the world. They're a two three hundred billion dollar company in terms of assets. So when Michael brought his plan to uh to Oak Tree. Oak Tree didn't give him a check for a million dollars like he got when he started Viridian over a decade ago. Oak Tree wrote him a check for a hundred million dollars. And so one of the first things that Michael did with part of that hundred million is he bought a company by the name of Think Energy. Now he didn't buy Think because they were a household name. They only had about 20,000 customers, you know, in, in several states, right? He didn't buy them because of their great customer service. The gentleman that owned think before Michael purchased it, we're really just trying to dump it off and sell it. So they were, you know, not the customer service was lacking. The reason Michael bought think was because they're licensed in all of the deregulated states in America. So he effectively bought a business in a box. So he doesn't have to go through all the process over again of, you know, licensing, bonding, all the things that go to get approved to be a licensed uh, supplier in a state that has already been done. So he just bought a business and it's a turnkey business, turn the key and let's go. So here's where we're at right now. We're right now an East coast company, all the States from the East coast, all the way to Illinois and Washington, DC. You can see the States there, uh, 12 States and, and, uh, the, and the district of Columbia. What we offer it think is a hundred percent clean energy. Competitive long-term fixed rates with no cancellation fees. That's right. No early termination fees. We believe in our value proposition so much that we tell our clients, look, if you don't like us, let's say you want to go back to your utility and take chances that your electric bill will double or triple down the road and you're fine with that. You can leave and we're not going to charge you any money to leave. That's how much we believe in our, in our service and that you won't leave. 
We have a, the a incredible cash back rebate program with the Proton technology. The Free Energy Club is incredible. Just by making a handful of referrals, our clients are going to be able to chip away at their already low three-year fixed rate plan all the way to eliminating the supply portion of their bill altogether. And for every Think, Think Energy customer that comes on board, 50 trees in the Amazon rainforest are protected through our partnership with the nonprofit One Tribe. So let's take a look at a few of our markets. In Ohio, this is the Columbus, Ohio area. Right now, they're at 10.98 cents a kilowatt hour. We're coming in with a three-year fixed rate plan of 8.5 cents a kilowatt hour. It's about a 20, 24% savings right off the bat. We don't have community, community solar in uh, Ohio yet but we do have the free energy club. So you can see just by chipping away at that already low three year rate, you know, before you know it, they're going to be at a rate where nobody can beat them just by referring 10 customers. We can safely say in all the markets that we're going to be in knocking 40% off of our already competitive three year fixed rate plan. No one's going to be able to ever come in, in the country and, and beat us. Okay. We can, we can state that. Now in Maine, Maine is a community solar state. In Maine, our value proposition off the bat, we, we're going to take customers from 17.63 cents a kilowatt hour all the way down to 13 and a half cents a kilowatt hour. Again, a three-year fixed rate plan. The, uh, the free energy club uh, rules apply here like they do in all states. But just by signing up for community solar, they get an additional 10% off, of off of their bill guaranteed for the next 20 years 10 percent savings on their bill for the next 20 years and it's i can't make this stuff up guys utility companies around the country have been overwhelmed by phone calls from irate customers saying you guys are crooks my bill is doubled it's tripled it's quadrupled you scumbags you know they're hearing it right so they're, they're forced to re-educate their customers through emails and through postings on their own websites. And they're saying to their customers, look, uh, we don't make any money on the supply portion of your bill. We buy it in the open market, and then we take those costs and pass them on to you, Mr. Consumer. So you may want to investigate fixed rate options for electric and natural gas supply offered by energy service companies. It should say, like Think Energy. This option may serve as protection against market volatility and price spikes. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. This is what this is what's going on out there in the energy market, right? Now, let's uh, talk about community solar. Right now, we're Think Energy is in Maine and New York. There are currently only four hundred thousand homes in America that are supporting a community solar farm that that have a, a community solar subscription. Uh, the green states will be coming online. Uh, shortly, we hear, you know, again, I, I don't like to say dates, but we hear they're coming on and they're coming on quick. Can't wait till Illinois gets here. That's where I'm from. California is huge, right? That's going to be coming online. <clears throat> I know Michael, because we've talked to him, is chomping at the bit to get these states op open. Uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, they're targeting 5 million homes. So they want to go from 400,000 homes in the country currently to 5 million homes in the next two, three, four years. And the projection is that in seven to 10 years from now, they want 40 million homes on the community solar, on some on solar, you know, and think about that. That's the future. You guys know I'm preaching to the choir here. Solar is the future. So um, what, what I want you to think about is this, to go from 400,000 homes to 40 million homes, that's an opportunity that, you know what, you can look at any great company in our country's history, McDonald's. Uh, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, the people that were working with those companies in the beginning all have one thing in common, and that's that they became wealthy. When I look at the community solar op opportunity in America, that's probably one of the things I'm most excited about because I believe our company is going to get 20 million of those 40 million homes because of relationship marketing, because of network marketing, the way we do business. And I believe our team's going to have a few million of those. And, and to me, I look at it, it would be like being able to buy a McDonald's for $750 today, no, because that's what you could have bought them for the rights, the franchise rights in the late 1950s. Um, knowing what McDonald's became, imagine being able to buy a McDonald's today for $750. How many of them would you buy? 
That's how big I think the community solar opportunity is. Now, community solar 101, <clears throat> which I'm, I'm sure you guys know, so I'll breeze through. You got a farmer, let's say they got 100 acres and he grows corn as his primary crop, but 10 acres, the nutrients are gone. It's all farmed out, so it's just sitting there. This community solar developer will go up to the farmer and say, Mr. Farmer, these 10 acres, I want a lease from you. And for the next 20 years, I'll sign a lease and you're going to have sizable income coming in month after month after month on these 10 acres. And instead of growing corn, we're going to grow electricity. We're going to put solar panels on these 10 acres. And then we're going to pump that energy from these solar panels into the grid. We're going to clean up the grid together and you're going to make a lot of money helping us clean up the grid. Now, the community solar, the farmer's ecstatic, the community solar uh, developer's happy, but he's got to get that farm filled. See, some farms are going to be 4,000 homes, some will be 500 homes, some will be 20, 10,000, 15,000. They're going to vary in sizes, right? No doubt about it. But until that project is filled to 100% capacity, that community solar developer is not happy because he's not maximizing the profit. He's not making the money he should be making. And a lot of times they're not moving on to the next project. So you're looking at the customer acquisition model for customer, for community solar developers in the country. The primary customer acquisition model, we believe, is going to be Think Energy because we're going to have customers that are waiting, sitting in holding tanks, waiting to go on a farm as soon as it gets completed. And that the word is already starting to spread amongst these developers. If you want to get your farm filled quickly, efficiently, effectively, you got to partner with these Think Think Energy guys. They get the job done. And it's all because of relationship marketing and network marketing that that's going to happen. Now, there's going to be some people that love the fact that they're doing great things for, for the world, kumbaya, right? Now, the guys that are going to be on Community Solar in my neighborhood on the southwest side of Chicago, they don't care about that kumbaya stuff. You know what they care about? Green in their wallet so they can buy more rounds of beer at the bar and the neighborhood tavern, right? See, I don't care what green you're excited about. Green is good, right? Whether it's money that you're going to make. Think about this. You're going to help people with 20 years of guaranteed savings on their electric bill. Guaranteed. That means 20 years of guaranteed re residuals for us, residual income. Now, we're going to shift gears and talk about money. We get paid seven different ways here. Personal income, leadership income, and team income. Guys, here's my disclaimer. We're in the land of 1099. You know this land because that's what you guys are, I'm sure, too, right? I love the land of 1099 because you get paid exactly what you're worth. Now, it's a scary land for some people because you get paid what you're worth. But for those of us that work hard, it's an incredible land because you get paid what you're worth, right? There's This is no good old boys club here. We don't care who your daddy is, where you did or didn't go to college. Bottom line is if here... The sky is the limit. You can build something as big as you want to build it. Dream as big as you want to build it. And, and guess what? Or you could do nothing and just come to meetings and hang out on Zooms and go to national conventions and do the YMCA and the audience and be totally worthless to the business. It's your choice. And in this country, all you should be looking for, especially in, in the times we're living in now, is a level playing field to see if you got what it takes to go win for yourself and your family. That's what we give you here at Think Energy. Now, let's, uh, talking about uh, uh, how we get paid compensation, there's up to 85,000 in one-time rank advancement bonuses as you promote yourself through the compensation plan. You know, how do you promote yourself through the compensation plan? Two activities. Gather a handful of personal customers and then build a team and help them and teach them how to gather a handful of customers. The most personal customers you need to gather to, to get yourself in a position to qualify for the top position in our comp plan currently, which is senior partner, is 24 personal customers. That In your entire career with us, you never need to bring in more than 24 personal. Now you can bring in more and there's people that are bringing in hundreds, but 24 is the, is the max you have to bring in. And then 50,000 team customers. As you can understand, when you start building a massive team, that number doesn't be, seem so daunting after a while because you got a whole bunch of people doing a little bit. But again, those bonuses go from $100 all the way to one-time bonus of $50,000 when you hit the top rank. The first three bonuses, because we want to drive behavior, if you do them in a timely manner, you can see there on the page 30, 60, or 90 days, we're going to double those first three bonuses because though that is the behavior you need to develop. 
gathering personal customers and then building a team that gathers customers. That's the business that you and I are in. Now, customer acquisition bonuses get paid weekly. They're called cab bonuses. There's up to $53 on electricity and there's up to another $159 on community solar. That's right. Um, the, the community solar bonuses are triple what the electricity bonuses are. So let's just say you're in Maine as an example. And let's say you bring in 10 customers and they all opt in for community solar because who wouldn't? I mean, it's like a no brainer, right? Well, 10 times 80, I mean, because it's the $20 for electricity and the $60 for community solar, that's $800. What if you're bringing in 10 customers a week? Well, let's say $800 a week. That's pretty decent income, right? But here's where our compensation plan is awesome. We're a coded comp plan. Now, we have two generations of code, which is unheard of. Most companies that are coded, if you understand anything about network marketing, when someone catches you and hits your level, you're effectively coded out. And this portion of the comp plan shuts off for you. But not so here because we have two generations of code. So let's say you're a director. And, you know, and 100 customers come in your business this month. You're going to get paid four times those 100 customers that you can see the $2 on the senior EI on the green and then the $1 on a director and then the $2 on the first generation coded infinity. You're going to get paid those first $4 uh, times 100. That's uh, $400 a month. What if it was, uh, and by the way, and then in, in uh, community solar, it's 12, right? So that's $16. Four dollars for electricity, and then triple twelve dollars for community solar. Twelve and four is sixteen dollars. Your team brings in a hundred customers this month. That's sixteen hundred. What if they bring in a thousand? That's sixteen thousand dollars in in bonuses paid out every Friday, right? And now where this business is cool with this second generation of code, when someone catches you and they become a director, they now get those four dollars that you were getting until they got to director. And now you get the second generation or $2 on everything they do. So it's it's very hard for someone to fly by you. You're always going to get a piece of everything that they build. And trust me, once you dive in and understand our comp plan, this portion, this two generation, second generation of coded infinity pay, this will keep you up at night, guys. It's so amazing once this thing starts to mature and develop. Um, and then we get paid level pay. This is residual. You get paid up to $1.50. On every personal customer you bring in month after month after month, a dollar for electricity and 50 cents for community solar. And then we have 10 levels of overrides and generation up starting at 20 cents as you promote yourself through the comp plan all the way at level 10 to a dollar 50 per customer. And again, the same thing applies depending on the electricity usage. We have different bands and then the community solar. Now tier one and tier two, Tier one would be like a main market. Tier two would be New York, which is a little bit more mature market. There's not as much, but it's still pretty solid, right? Now, I love this page because this page will show you the opportunity of one aspect of our compensation plan, and that's residual income. So let's say you come to WearCare and you go out and get 24 personal customers because you want to pre-qualify yourself for a senior partner, right? You want to get your personal customers out of the way. And- all you do, and think about this, a country of 300 million people where 90 plus percent of the people are going to bed tonight, living a life of quiet financial desperation. All you do is find three people in your entire career, think energy, right? Three people that want to take advantage of this business and open up their own retail energy business instead of working for Uber or, or you know, Home Depot or Walmart, right? Because you realize most people are going to have to work probably till the day they die. So they want to have their own business. They're entrepreneurial minded, right? Now, they all, they all you do is bring in three and they don't get 24 customers like you do. They just get three customers each, mom and dad, their best friend and their brother. That's it. And then, and then they just bring in three people. And this just continues on. Three who get three customers. Three who get three customers. This carries on all the way through our compensation plan. Do you realize that that's over $340,000 a month in residual income? Now, you might be saying, Mike, what are you smoking? There's no way. Well, okay, if and maybe there, and by the way, if you keep thinking there's no way you can make this kind of money, you'll be right. But could you be half this good? Could you be 20% this good? How about 10% this good? 
Do you realize if you messed up these numbers by 98%, that's how bad you were, you're still looking at $4,000 a month in residual income. Now, keep that number in mind, $4,000 a month in residual income, because I'm going to tell you at the end of this presentation how that's life-changing, okay? Now, um, we also have coded infinity residual pay all the way past level 10 to level 1,000 if you go that deep, right? Starting from level 1 to level 1,000, whatever, 2,000, because it's infinity. There's up to 90 cents for every electricity customer as you promote through the compensation plan, an extra 90 cents, and an extra 45 cents for community solar as you promote through the comp plan. So basically, guys, what you're looking at this as you're building this business you're looking at probably, as it gets going, an average of about a dollar a customer, no matter where they're at, once you start promoting yourself through the compensation plan. It's big money. And then finally, our partner pool. We have no partners right now, but when you hit the rank of partner, here's what it looks like. The company, every month, is going to share in revenue. They're going to put money aside for every electricity and community solar customer that comes in that month. They're also going to take the total number of customers that are paying their electric bill, and they're going to put that money into a pool. So think about this, guys. You know, and when you hit the rank of partner, you get a share. Right now, we don't have a partner. So the first partner is going to get it all. And then when you hit regional partner, you get two shares and senior partners get five shares. So what they do is they take this pool of money, add it all up, and then they divide it by the number of shares. And you get your prorated share of that pool. So to keep the math simple, let's say the pool is 100000 It's going to be close to 100000 now. I mean, it's on its way. So let's say it's 100000 and there's 10 partners. No regionals, no seniors, just 10 partners. Well, those 10 people are going to take that 100000 divide it by 10. They're each going to get a $10,000 partner pool check that month. Guys, this allows us to share in the efforts of all of the talented people in the entire company that aren't in your downline. I love this partner part of the partner pool. I can't wait to um, this part of the compensation plan. I can't wait to become a partner because, you know, by the time there are going to be partners, this is going to be a sizable chunk of change that's going to be divided up. And so you, this is a really cool part of the plan. And then bottom line is this, guys, what do you got to do? Well, what happens if you say yes to this and what happens if you say no? Well, if you say no, nothing happens. And then you just got to look at the last five to 10 years of your life. That's what the next five to 10 look like. What happens if you say yes? You're going to have a chance to restore your retirement. Do something big, right? And see, this is this is a big deal, guys. And to, to get into, have your own retail energy business with us, just $129 one time. Like, that's it. And then $99 every year if you want to renew your business, if you want to keep getting paid, your residuals, your 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 team income, all those ways I just talked about, you just got to renew for $99. There's no monthly website fees. I always hated companies that charge people $20 a month or $40 a month to run your business. You know what? They have that information. It's available. All the tools and resources should be provided for free, but it was just a way for most companies to make money on you. Not a, not so with us. $129 and you're in business. Complete your training. We're in a regulated business. You got to know what you can and can't say, can and can't do. And a background check. You know what? We uh, we have a very valuable business we're building here. We believe one day it'll be this company will be worth a billion dollars at least, and, and we're going to have hundreds of people making a lot of money. You know, tens of thousands of dollars a month. And let's say you're one of those people making five, ten thousand, twenty thousand a month or more. And you need to make sure that nobody comes into this co company with a serious criminal background, theft, with theft, dishonesty, violence, sexual nature. They do something stupid because we didn't do a background check. And then the regulators come and shut the entire company down. And there goes away your all that money you're making every month, that all that business you work so hard for. That will not happen here because questionable people with very serious backgrounds can't get in. They can be changed. Good people, I'm not judging them. I'm just saying they can't get in. That's called protecting our future. Um, and then once you're up and running, it takes about a day to get your complete training and background check and you're up and running. Then you can start enrolling customers and advisors. You get paid immediately with those cab bonuses. And then residually on the 15th of the month, it takes a few months for our customer to come online. But when they come on, it's uh, not the 15th, the third Friday of every month is when we pay residuals. And, you know, feeling great about being a part of something. You know, I always joke, you know, you don't change anyone's life when you tell them what aisle the light bulbs in, are in at Home Depot. But here we can change people's lives. We can make a difference, right? 
And bottom line is this, guys, you know, freedom of time and money. You know, that's what that's what all this is about. Being able to to be a person of impact and be able to to call your shots, being able to do what you want when you want, and with whoever you want, and money never gets in the way. That's the American dream. That's what we're all fighting for, right? And here's the last thing. Remember, I told you about that four thousand a month in residual income. Why that's so important. Last thing, guys. My mentor in uh, Primerica, God, twenty five and a half years ago. May he rest in peace. Great guy, second father to me. We're in this meeting in Rosemont in November of 1997. And he said, <clears throat> we're going to give you a chance to be wealthy. Now, Mr. Naval Academy talking to you right now. I said, I'm going to be wealthy. I yelled out. All the suits looked back at me. And I, he goes, how do you know? I go, because I went to the Naval Academy. Isn't that scary, though? Isn't that what we're, our parents taught us? You go to the best schools, you get the best jobs, you get, make the most money, right? So I was still under that programming. So I said, I'm going to be rich. And he goes, okay, well, how much money have you made so far in your lifetime? And I was married. He goes, you're married, right? I go, yeah. He goes, does your wife work? I go, doesn't everyone's wife work? Isn't it sad in this country in order to make it in life, we got to put our kids in daycare and have two incomes coming in, but that's the way it is, right? That's the American dream. He said, well, how much you been, How much have you and your wife made so far? So we were mar married eight years. He said, just ballpark it. I said, we may have been averaging about 90000 a year in household income during the 1990s, right? So 90 times eight. Uh, eight, uh, my number was about 700,000. That's everyone on this zoom has a number. It's different than my wife and I's, but you have a number. And if you're older, you've made millions, right? So that's not the most important question is not how much you've made in your lifetime. The most important question, this is the next question that my mentor asked me that helped me pull my head out of my anatomy and made me realize that if I kept doing what I was doing, I was going to keep getting what I was getting. He said, how much of that 700,000, Mike, do you have sitting in accounts tonight since you're going to be wealthy? And I said, nothing. <laughs> I don't have any money saved. Guys, you ever see a hamster running on a wheel? Where does it get? Nowhere. Definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. Here's what I can promise you. No one's coming to your rescue. No one's going to strike an oil well in our backyards and we're not going to win the lottery. If you're like part the 95% of the population, you don't like the answer to these two questions because you, no matter how much you've made, you don't have enough saved. That's just normal, right? 95% of the people are. My challenge to anybody that I talk to is what are you going to do about it? You keep, and most people, unfortunately, will keep their head in the sand, hoping it gets better and it won't get better. It's going to get worse. Well, we offer people at Think Energy as a chance to fix it. Remember that $4,000 a month? Guys, if it took you a few years to get there, so what? $4,000 a month. It's like having a million dollars in your 401k. 95 out of 100 people in our country don't have anywhere near a million dollars in their 401k at retirement. That's why they have to keep working. Why do you think there's the, the sales force at Walmart, McDonald's, they're all gray haired. They're not working because they want to be away from their grandkids. They have to work. So guess what? Only five out of 100 people are winning the money game. 95 out of 100 have no chance. They're like that hamster on the wheel. But if they had a million dollars in their 401k, they could retire because they'd have 50,000 a year, 5% in interest. That's 50,000. Divide that by 12 months. That's 4,000, a little over 4,000 a month that they can live on. Add social security. They're free, right? They're not rich, but they're free. So you tell me what sounds more logical for you trying to save a million dollars in your 401k or helping us find three people to, to that are interested in having their own retail energy business, taking those numbers I showed you on the page there with residual, missing them by 98% and still walk, walking away with 4,000 a month in residual income, which is like having a million dollars in your 401k. See, that's what I look at. So the bottom line is this guys, we're, we're, you know, I'm going to end this screen right here. I'm going to stop it. Bear with me. Um, I will answer a few questions right now. Um, bear with me. I'm make this bigger. Um, but that's our presentation. I do, you know, we do those every night, four nights a week. I usually do one of them for the company. Um, I'll be happy to do these for you. We we basically, this is who we are. This is what we're looking for. And I want to thank you guys for your time. To, I'll open it up uh, back to you, Anthony, if you guys have any questions. I have a question. 
Yes. When is it coming to California? And also, do you cater to businesses? Uh, yes, we do small business right now. Small, so small business, California, I wish I had an answer because I have a big market out there. Um, <laughs> but I, I hear it's going to be, I hear Michael's very hot for California. And what, you know, so um, it'll be community solar, which will be huge out there. So I was a little confused with community solar and how they got paid versus the other. It was kind of a little complicated. So um, uh, because it's a community solar tier three and then tier tier one and tier two. Yeah. So what, what happens is on mature markets, the comp isn't as Great. So it's not triple. Like, like, you know, if you'll notice like Maine, it's triple compared to electric. Oh yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Tier okay. two, tier two, like New York, it's the same as electric. So we get paid, you know, it's less, it's less, uh, it's, and that instead of a $60 customer acquisition bonus, it's 20 to like it is for electricity. So, so I, okay. what are the states that are available right now? Um, well, well, the whole East yes. coast pretty much. And, but East the only coast, New Jersey, New York. Uh, they, yeah, they're up, they're online right now. And then um, with Community Solar right now, it's just Maine and uh, New York. But I know they're coming online with three or four more quickly. And um, I heard Illinois one. I heard um, I heard Virginia. And see, think about this: Virginia is not even deregulated, guys. So th- when I tell you the, you know, this is like uh, any, this is unlike any de- uh, energy deregulation uh, company you've seen because. You know, community solar is going to probably be in 40 something states when it's all said and done, when this thing matures. So there's going to be states that aren't deregulated. We'll never, you'll never be able to choose who supplies your electricity, but we're still going to, they're going to have these solar farms everywhere. And, you know, and I, with, what I see for you guys with Anthony, I was talking with Anthony, this is going to just be a compliment to what you guys are already doing. You know, you're going to be able to go in and, you know, and, you know, I don't know much about rooftop solar, to be honest. So, but I do know one of my, one of my good buddies from Primerica, he's the head guy at, at, if you ever heard a company called Apricot Solar. Um, He's the, he's the guy who told the owner that he needed an MLM. And so they don't even do, they don't do any door knocking. Everything is warm market and zooms. So Eddie's, Eddie built it like, to, so I'm actually talking to Eddie, you know, we already talked a few months ago. We're trying to, we're going to get him over here you know, to, to kind of do what I think we're looking to hopefully help you guys with, which is having a, an ancillary product offering in your briefcase where you can help the homeowner. Um, let's say if they, even if they get community solar, you still might be able to help them, right? Cause they still might have an electric bill, you know um, you know, I, although, you know, you know, the goal would be if they have rooftop solar, they have no electric bill. Right. But if they, I, you know, and again, I, I, I want to apologize for my ignorance. I don't know how it all works, but you know, but I think, I think it's a, I think what we're offering is a great compliment to what you guys are already doing. I love the fact that you guys are hustlers and getting after it because, you know, that's what we're looking for. And people sitting around, you know, wait, waste watching TV all day. We have no time for that. So you guys are going to go get it. And I think this will be able to add a good income for you guys, especially when the residual adds up. I mean, we've only been doing this a few months. You know, you know, we've got a few thousand customers. I mean, it's nothing great yet. You know what I mean? But it's it's kind of like it's like the you know just it's it builds, and then before you know it, you turn around, and you're like, wow, <laughs> that that happened, you know? And uh, but it's it's not this is not get rich quick. I will say that there's so we're not going to promise pie in the sky, but you can make some money here. That's for sure. So Mike, I'm a little confused. So the 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 business is you're not putting anything on the house, you're just replacing the bill. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. We're changing the sub who's the we're actually not even changing the bill. We're we're adding a line item on their on their utility bill. Um, and where it says supply, it's not gonna say like in Illinois, Commonwealth Edison is the supplier. It would say think energy instead of ComEd. It still comes in a ComEd bill, so they're still paying ComEd. The supply portion goes to think energy. So that's all that's changing there. So the generation and all that stays the same. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. For sure. We have nothing to do with that. We're just we're just supplying it and so that's all that's what we get paid on. We get paid on the supply portion. All right, thanks. Oh, so, welcome. is it deregulated here? I mean, is it? I mean, we're not deregulated in California yet. Um, natural gas is, but it's it, California's. Well, I, I know I was actually out there for a year, so um, it's a different world. <laughs> so they're, uh, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we'll ever even be on the natural gas, and and uh, we may, but we're definitely going to be community solar there for sure. And that's that's going to be that's going to be big. So you know, let me ask you this, Mike, because you know, like they they charge you like a surcharge, PG and E does. So if you go to a third party, let's say gas provider um, or electricity, PG and E wants a piece of that as well. So is it really, are they really going to be saving as much as you show or is PG and E going to go in there and say, Hey, we want our, our cut as well. Well, I, I can just tell you this, I, those, they have different, every state's different, but uh, I do know that some of those transmission charges and different things that are out right. there, they disappear when people become a think energy customer. Uh, you know, I know that I can, you know, so we actually educate our customers that that portion, like in Commonwealth Edison in Chicago, that portion disappears when they become a Think Energy customer. Kind of like solar. Uh, yeah, probably. I, again, I, I can't speak to that, but. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks for your presentation, Mike. Um, I signed up with uh, Think a little bit ago. I just had a, a, a question for you. Do, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Sounds good. So a couple things. First of all, um, I, I noticed that it's tiers based upon kilowatt hours per year. And so the tier tier one, tier two, tier three, if they use more energy, they they are compensated higher. And I noticed that. So I was curious, is that based upon the original bill? What if they get an electric car or get a new air conditioner or something like that and their usage goes up? Does it is it is it always um, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of living. Does it change if, if they use more energy, or does it all? Is it based upon what the original sign up was for that person? Great question. It, 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 no, it's never based on the original. It's what they use. So, and, and by the way, that's one of the things Michael told us was, uh, well, especially in California. But you know, uh, but I mean, uh, cars are all they're going electric. So people's electric usage is, you know, that's again. Phenomenal. They're going to, you know, double in a lot of cases, you know, so, so we get paid on their current month's usage. So whatever band they fall into that month is in, so they can fluctuate. They could be band one month, one month, band two, another month, you know, or band three. It's all based on their usage uh, for that month is what, is what we get paid on and what they pay. Great. So that's not, thank you. The other question I had was about um, the, the explaining this to rec for recruiting it, I'm a pretty analytical guy. I look at numbers. I understand numbers well. But even for me, it seems like there's so many different levels of compensation. I'm not going to complain about that. I think it's great that there, you can be compensated in different ways and be able to make more money. But the, the hard thing is if you're explaining this to someone trying to put it in a simple way, I think there's some complexity to it to, for people to well, understand how much they're actually going to make. You know. Well, we believe uh, like this is a longer presentation. We have an eight minute video that we share with people. And then we, it's a eight minute video, three way call with an expert. So like, I'll give an example, if you ever caught yourself trying to explain this to somebody you sent the video to, you're doing the system wrong. I, when I send an eight minute video to one of my prospects, I get somebody else on the phone and I introduce them and edify them as the expert, even though if I'm smarter than them <laughs> or I know more, it doesn't matter. The system says, I don't try to explain it to them because that new person is going to listen to me and they'll say, well, God, you're so good. I could never be as good as you. You know what I mean? And no, we want to show, I want them to see all I did was get them to watch an eight minute video. That's very well done. And then got them on the phone with somebody other than me to answer the questions. So that's what no, that's good. That's good. I like that. So oh, cool. What part of California are you in? Northern. Okay, I was uh outside like of. Area. I was by Diamond Bar, like uh Orange County. Oh, okay. We, we, I see we have a question, Mike. Oh, sorry, uh, but I see we have a question in regards to commercial. I assume that would just kind of fall under like the different. Yeah, uh, we're nothing. We're not large commercial right now. Okay. Um, but we are smaller commercial. I guess it would based on the kilowatt hours. I, yeah. you know, I know we have people on our team that have done it. I, I haven't done any commercial yet, personally. So, hey, Mike, uh, in Texas here, since it's line item and uh, third party, will it be available to co-ops? Good question. I don't know, so I wouldn't want to give you the wrong answer. But one of the things I told Anthony is. We've got some guys that are more technical 
and I always joke, I'm the guy who makes it rain, <laughs> but I'm, uh, you know, I'm not like Mr. I'm not Mr. Uh, I'm not going to have all the details, but I, you know, it's okay. like, a, but you better, I, I, here's what I will tell you, like Jim Kenny and some of the master distributors, we have guys that are very well detailed on all that. And especially specifically Texas. So we're going to, Anthony's going to be having another training. We're going to organize a training for everybody and we'll bring on those guys. And that's, those are the presentations Perfect. where you see me talk a lot. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Great presentation. Appreciate you. Thank you. No, appreciate you too. Thanks brother. Awesome. Awesome. So anyone else have any questions or anything like that? I won't take up too much of Mike's time. All right. If not, yeah, I mean, we, and, and just a little perspective as well. I mean, the, this, the way to build, it encourages you early on to just build just kind of three by three and then expand later. Um, so like myself, Bo, I know a couple other people on the call that that have already joined and, and dabbled in it the last few months. Uh, we already have our three. So right now we're just, you know, building layers at this point. So if you do join, there's a good chance that the next few people that join will be placed underneath you as well. Um, Cause we want to kind of build three by three by three, uh, just, just as Mike showed. So yeah. I'm, I only went um, five wide. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. You know, but you know, we've ranked up a little bit. So now once you rank up, so you're, you're exactly right. Get, get to director first and then you can start going wide, but get to that director position with three and then you can, you know, start building other legs. That's smart. Good job, Anthony. Yep. Can I ask Good. another question, Mike? Uh, sure. Sorry to interrupt, but I just this is something I thought of when I was looking at the compensation plan that the people that are are coming on board and they want to lower their bill. If they get three, they get a ten percent discount. If they get ten, they get a forty percent discount, and they get you know twenty, they get a hundred percent discount. I, I get all that, but is it true? I think it's if if I understand correctly. If they are getting those discounts from Think for, for their own utility bill, then the money that would have gone to the distributors who brought those people on, it's kind of like reallocated to them lowering their bill, right? It's not it's not both. It's either or, right? No, well, I'm not sure if, what, if, if I understand you correctly. Our compensation isn't cut because meaning if someone if you bring in a if if you have 20 customers that are free energy club customers we don't get paid the cab bonuses like the 20 dollars on each of those cuz you didn't do anything to get those customers you with me and meaning they weren't they, they were customers that are customers that weren't reps brought in so you know so those customers just get we get paid residual and we get paid 25% of the residual so on the, just consider free energy club as like gravy on the mashed potatoes because you're still going to get paid residually on those customers a little bit, but you've done nothing to acquire those customers. And think about this. It, that's where the viral component comes on, where you can bring in a customer who goes and gets 20. And then out of those 20, say three or four of them go get 20. And then, you know, a few more get 20. Before you know it, you that one person that you actually brought in and made a phone call to, brought you in a few hundred customers. You with me? That you're getting paid a, a, a quarter of the residual for no work. You didn't no, I, I get that. I, I don't know if that's... So my, my question is, let's say I brought someone on and that person decided to... to the person decided, let's say they, they signed up as a as a, as a a uh, person who yeah. want, who's like an advisor, but yeah. they also signed up for their own house. They did both. And yeah. so... So, so that person like, oh, I've signed up for my own house. I want to get 20 people so I can get the residual. Now, does that cut out my original, the original sign up for that person? Uh, because she's, he or she is getting the the money from bringing other people on. Well, well my question makes sense. Yeah, so. I think it does. Well, first of all, like if, if I, if I was signing you up, I would, as an advisor, I've, I, I'm, I'm a simple minded guy. I'm not a hunter. You know, but if I was a hunter, I wouldn't shoot the arrow at the tree, hoping it bounces off the tree and hits the deer. I would shoot it at, at the deer, right? So for me, everybody I talk to is a potential advisor, a business partner of mine. I don't shove it down their throat, but I aim for the advisor, miss with the customer. So if I was going to bring you on as an advisor, I would say, look, your first customer is going to be yourself. So I wouldn't want your customer, if you're going to be in the business with me, let you sign up yourself as a customer. It's only 20 bucks. 
You know, it's like, you know, it's no big deal. I mean, but it's the right thing to do and that you get the free energy. Now, if you weren't going to join the business or you were thinking about it, I would say, come on over. Let's get you signed up as a customer. Well, then I'm going to sign you up one way or another. I'm going to get something from you. You're either joining the business or you're becoming a customer. And if, if you're my friend and if you're not my friend, <laughs> you know, you, you know, it, 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 it is. Yeah. So, well, yeah. so, so if I, if I go at this at a sales perspective, not a influencer perspective, which is more my personality and okay. I go after it and I sign up a bunch of customers. Let's say I sign up in, let's say I sign up, I don't know, 20 customers, you know what I mean? And, and I, and I bring the people on as, as customers and then I get the, whatever it is, $20, $60, whatever the bonus is for those. I get that. Do I also get the residual component for the person I signed up as a customer or is that only, only for the advisor? No, you get, no, you, you, in fact, you don't, we don't get paid residual on advisors. We only get paid residual on customers. So if you had if you had 20 people that you just went after and they became customers, and let's say a few of them down the road said, hey, I want to do this. Well, that that's fine. They can, right? And they can still get free energy because they're your customer, right? It doesn't matter if they're their own customer or yours. Um, you know, so it still can work out, you know, so either which way you want to go. And, you know, it, you know, I've always, like I said, if your approach is different than mine, that's fine. I'm not saying I'm right or you're wrong. You know, it just, I, you know, I, that my approach is always talk business. People, my, I find are a lot more open to talking about business opportunities than, you know, clients. I, I've been in financial services for 25 years. I show them a business. I show them that uh, what I'm doing for business and then, we get to, you know, once they, once they see what we're doing, they all want to become a client of mine. You know what I mean? But I don't, you know, I, but everyone has a different approach. So I'm not going to say that you're right or, or wrong or anything like that. So okay. yeah. I have a cool. question. Yeah. So what if they have solar, right? And they need more solar, but they don't want to do it. And can they use this program to offset their um, energy bill if they have solar? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep, you're dealing with the situation, limited roof space, 70% yes, offset, exactly. 80% offset. Uh, I, I know I've had a lot of calls recently. Obviously, we had the big NEM 2, NEM 3 cutoff out here. And I've had a lot of calls of, cus of customers reaching out wanting to expand their system. And I'm advising the reps don't expand because obviously that gets rid of NEM 2. Yeah. Right? So that's where this could come in. Oh, you know, great. just kind of make up some oh, sort of the difference. Great. You know, so I've yeah, given, no, there's I've a, lot of, a, lot a lot of flexibility I, here. Yeah, I got a lot of calls as well, Anthony. Yeah. Hey, Anthony, I gotta go. Uh, what's I gotta get going? What's the how do we, if we're interested? What do we do? And how uh, do reach we out to myself training? before. Yeah. Uh, well, this this is recorded, um, so we will disperse this to the team, and um, we will schedule a training. We'll, we'll coordinate with Mike uh, to to do a Thursday training with us with with some of the people that are crushing it. And then, um, yeah, reach out to whoever invited you or, or, or John or Bo or myself. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you guys plugged in for sure. Yeah. I look forward to working with all of you. And if you need anything, you know, just reach out to Anthony. I'm a phone call away. He has my contact yeah. information as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely get up a training, uh, Anthony, whenever it works for you guys, we'll figure out a way where we can get everyone trained more on the technical aspect of stuff too. Perfect. And you can just use me for these presentations. I'll be happy to do. I do one, I do one a day for you guys if you needed me to. If you if you if you're bringing on people, work me, guys. Awesome. Uh, you know the numbers were a little confusing, just like Bradley said, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, thanks, guys. Have a good right. one. Thanks, guys. Bye.